established in 1847 by Louis Francois Cartier, the brand gained fame as the jeweler of kings, the king among jewelers, by introducing the use of platinum and diamond in their designs. Cartier has created numerous iconic and breathtaking accessories, ranging from royal jewels to exotic gems, featuring collaborate and intricate designs that have continually impressed the world. Adored by fashion enthusiasts and celebrities alike, Cartier's jewelry has proven to be timeless with minimal changes to their collections. Let's take a look at some of the most famous Cartier jewelry pieces. Before we start, please support my channel by clicking like and subscribe buttons. Maria Felix Crocodile Necklace In 1975, Maria Felix, a beloved movie star of the 1940s golden age of Mexican cinema and a fervent fashion enthusiast with custom pieces by Givenchy, Balenciaga and Chanel in her wardrobe, as well as a collector of fine jewelry commissioned his intricately designed crocodile necklace. Among her vast collection of jewels included custom Cartier pieces and even the 41.37 carat Ashoka diamond, previously owned by Harry Winston. In 1975, Felix walked into the Cartier store with a fish bowl containing live crocodiles and requested the jewelers to create a necklace inspired by the reptiles. The designers presented her with a necklace and brooch combination featuring two crocodiles that wrapped around her neck and fastened it together. One half of the crocodile pair was crafted using 1023 yellow diamonds, totaling 60 carats, while the other was made with 1060 emeralds, weighing almost 67 carats in total. Grey Scaly Engagement Ring when Prince of Monaco, Rainier III, proposed to Grace Kelly, he gave her a ruby and emerald engagement ring. However, Kelly upgraded to a more fashionable diamond ring, a 10.47 carat emerald cut diamond by Cartier with two baguette diamonds flanking the center stone. Kelly never took off the diamond after the engagement and even had it worn by her character. Tracy Samantha Lord in the film High Society. The film features a memorable scene of Tracy polishing her diamond ring with a bed sheet. This was Kelly's last film appearance. The Rain Macadal Necklace The Rain Macadal Necklace design was centered around a 15 carat oval shaped ruby from Mozambique, set in platinum and surrounded by diamonds. The creation of this dramatic piece took 3,320 hours of work by Cartier Premier Artisans. The necklace was designed to drape elegantly around the neck and is a testament to Cartier's exceptional craftsmanship. The name Rain Makeda likely references the Queen of Sheba, a powerful and revered figure in Ethiopian history. Daisy Fellows Tutti Frutti Collier Hindo Necklace In 1901, Queen Alexandra commissioned Cartier to create a necklace that was inspired by Indian design. To match a gown she received from Mary Carson, the wife of Viceroy of India. Following this and the trip to India in 1911, Jacques Cartier began incorporating Indian stones into his French Art Deco jewelry designs resulting in a collection of bracelets and brooches that featured gemstones shaped like leaves, blossoms and berries. This collection would later be known as the Tutti Frutti collection. The collection featured many impressive pieces, but the most remarkable belonged to the Daisy Phelps, the heirs to the singer Sivian Machine Fortune. In 1936, she commissioned Cartier to create the Collier Hindou necklace which is adorned with emeralds, rubies, satin sapphires and diamonds totaling 146.9 carats, as well as two sapphires in the shape of leaves weighing 50.8 and 42.45 carats respectively. 
the Duchess of Windsor's Cartier Panther Bracelet. The iconic Cartier Diamond and Onyx Panther Bracelet was custom made for the Wallis Simpson Duchess of Windsor. In 1952, the Duchess collaborated with the Cartier jeweler Jean Toussaint to create the unique design that allows the bracelet to gently wrap around her wrist instead of being rigid. The beautiful and fully articulated body of the panther is set in a platinum and diamonds and black onyx. The eyes of the panther are set with marquee-shaped emeralds. At the 1987 Duchess of Windsor auction held after her death, the Cartier Diamond and Onyx Panther bracelet sold for $1.27 million. 23 years later, the bracelet again went on the Sotheby's auction block and was sold again for £4.5 million. Pounds. Cartier Patiala Necklace The necklace, named after Bupinder Singh of Patiala, the Maharaja of Patiala, India, was commissioned by him and crafted by Cartier in 1928. It boasts 2,930 diamonds, ranging from 18 to 73 carats, Burmese rubies and the world's seventh largest De Beers diamond as its centerpiece, weighing 236.65 carats. This stunning piece of jewelry showcases Cartier's exceptional craftsmanship and attention to detail. The necklace mysteriously disappeared in 1948, but the large diamond resurfaced solo, without the surrounding stones or its original necklace setting, in 1982, at Sotheby's auction where it sold for $3.16 million. In 1998, the remnants of the Patiala necklace were found at a second-hand jewelry shop in London, lacking its original rubies and diamonds. Cartier bought the piece and, over a period of four years, restored it to its original form with cubic zirconia synthetic diamonds and a replica of the De Beers diamond at the center. Cartier Halo Tiara The most famous piece of Cartier in UK royal family jewelry box is undoubtedly the Halo Tiara, purchased by King George VI as a gift for the Queen Mother in 1936. Gifted to the Queen Elizabeth II as an 18th birthday present, over the years, the Queen has loaned the showpiece to Princess Margaret, Princess Anne, and the most recently, the Duchess of Cambridge for her wedding to Prince William in 2011. That's all for today. Thanks for watching. Please support my channel by clicking like and subscribe buttons.